Will Farrell, it is great to see you again. How you doing, bud? Good to see you too, Dave. Um, no Eurovision this year. This is the closest we're going to get. So yeah. thank you for this. <laughs> this is the this is the surrogate right here for Eurovision. This our movie. How long have you uh, been working on this, and what inspired you to tell this story? Well, I'm, strangely enough, it's it's been an idea I've had for 20 years, literally. Uh, the first time I visited uh, Sweden with my wife to see her family, uh, which has since become a tradition. We've gone every summer. Uh, they they Her family sat us down and said, well, we have to watch your visions on tonight. And we're like, okay. And there I was like glued to the TV for three hours, uh, just not knowing what I was watching, you know, between the spectacle of it all and the, the camp and the, uh, you know, and, and the legitimate, you know, a lot of the songs are really catchy. And I just was blown away at the pageantry and couldn't believe that it wasn't anything that we knew about over here in the States uh, and that 200 million people watch it every year. And, and I always thought this would be just, this would make a great movie, but it just took a while for me to, to get it going. How long did it take you to get the accent down and make it just right? It's perfect. Oh, thank you. No, that's, well, that's, uh, that's basically hanging out with uh, my wife's family for, like I said, 20 years. Yeah. And so <laughs> I can pretty much imitate the Scandinavian accent, uh, which why we, when we got to shoot in Iceland too for part of it, and I would ask the Icelandic actors like, how's my accent? They're like, uh, you don't sound like an Icelandic person, but, but that's great. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get to keep the uh, bigs and the, the wig and the costumes? Because you look great. I kept, uh, I actually flew home in the Volcano Man uh, outfit when we wrapped the movie, so, which was tough getting through customs. Um, uh, I realized that that is, that's the closest I'll ever get to playing a superhero in a movie, uh, <laughs> getting to wear something like that. Um, I love the band name, Fire Saga, but there have been other names that you considered for the band. We're there, and can you tell us maybe a couple others? in mind i i'm i'm trying to i don't know if we did i i we wanted something that you know this that lars in this small town and in, in iceland thought just sounded super cool and uh uh you know the sagas the storytelling of of the viking people and fire it i think that was the only name once we we just came with Fire Saga, and that was it. Game over. Didn't didn't. How happen. proud are you of the Volcano Man song, dude? I actually, I used to work in radio, so I'm right. gonna give you props on that. I actually, this song is. I know it's a funny movie, but I, I dig the track, dude. Well, it it it's. I mean, um, Seven uh, Kotecha, who wrote our music, is is a really big producer, and uh, you know he's done everything. You know from songs for Demi Lovato and The Weeknd and all this stuff. And he wrote some amazing music, uh, Double Trouble, which is our song we sing in the competition. That's really, that's really kind of catchy and in an annoying way. Uh, but no, it was fun when, when we, when the Volcano Man video broke that some of the comments were like, okay, I know you're, I know I'm supposed to laugh, but I actually like this song, uh, which is a great, we kind of wanted it to be funny and good at the same time. You nailed it, my friend. I thought about you all day. I was watching NASCAR at Talladega, and I was like, I'm talking to him later today. <laughs> That's well. right. It's on today, right? It's yeah. happening right now, my friend. Yeah. All right. Well, stay safe and always good to see you, Will. You too, Dave. All right, bud. Bye.